fight for God and the honor country. What is up guys and welcome back to another Visualized History and Lore video. Today we'll be learning how to install the American Civil War mod or ACW for uh, Napoleon Total War. This is a mod created by yours truly and um, this mod adds in 120 playable historical Civil War maps. Not only that, it brings in armies from different eras at their one-to-one -one historical scale. That's right. So we look here in the 5th Corps of the Union Army in 1863, represented at Gettysburg. We can bring... Let's let's look, let's look for someone cool real quick. Let's look for Sykes. Sykes, all right. And the 20th Maine, who had 386 men fighting at Gettysburg. You can bring these units at their historical scales, you, you know, with their historical colonels. Uh, the 5th United States Battery D led by Lieutenant Charles E. Hazlitt, had six guns historically of 10-pounder guns. You can bring that, everything, from multiple theaters, one-to-one -one scale. This is an amazing mod, guys. You want this mod. I've showed it how, I've shown how to install it a few times. We've got a new version up. So uh, with a new version comes a new install tutorial. So we're going to go ahead and learn how to install this today. So there's going to be a few things you're going to be able to skip if it doesn't pertain to you in this tutorial. And that can simply be done by, uh, you know, looking in the description. There'll be timestamps to different parts of the video that you can simply skip. And, um, but this tutorial will be going from literally scratch Napoleon all the way to, um, you know, uh, full install. So I'm doing it with you guys. There's no way you can mess this up. Um, it should be a pretty easy ride. Uh, but first and most importantly, in order to install mods, you need to know where your game is. So I'm going to show you how to do that really quick. And before we do that, we're first going to go to the mod DB page. That'll be linked down in the description. As you can see, this mod offers a variety of, you know, just amazing content. Um, and a very active Discord for you guys, a community for you guys to go and find games of almost a thousand people. Um, you know, it, it, there's nothing else like it for Civil War Gaming right now. On the market real quick and you can find the link here and it'll be linked again in the description we're gonna to come to the link in the description you're gonna to go to files and you're gonna start downloading let they go ahead and start downloading as you see it's created by the cold front your boy truly uh, but then we're gonna to need to learn how to find your Napoleon folder this is gonna be different for some people there is a base location for everyone that's gonna be at and that may very well be where it is for you but just in case everybody's different we're going to do a surefire way to make sure we find where your games are, regardless of where you have them installed. So we're going to go to your games. You're going to right click. You're going to go to manage and then browse local files. Once you do that, it'll pop up with a window here. And this is your game folder here. All right. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go back to this common folder. So click on common there. And this happens to be all the games I have installed on my E drive here. This location is going to be different for you for most people. It's going to show uh, this as your as your location just simply because, and again, everyone has their stuff installed in different places. It just happens to be here for me. So again, you're just going to right click on your game, manage, browse local files. Then you're inside your game folder, but what you want to do is click on the common. So the folder that your game folder is inside, right? Then what we're going to do, we're going to come up here into the white space. We're going to click on this and then you're going to control C or copy paste like this. Uh, this is important for two reasons. This is going to be your installation path, and this is also going to be something you need to do if you're having trouble with uh, Windows security. Window, uh, Windows base Windows security right now it has a bug that's affecting you know NTW3, Rise of Mordor, a lot of very popular mods out there where they're either their installers or their launchers they have for the games, which we have both for this mod as well, are being seen as threats uh, by. Um, the uh your windows security so we're going to make an exemption and this is always good to do because windows security isn't perfect in fact it's i don't recommend it at all um but we're going to go ahead and quickly sh i'm going to quickly show you how to um resolve that issue if you do have it if you don't have that issue then again you can go ahead and skip along in the video to uh what it will pertain to you all right so what we're first going to do here is we're going to go to type in here to search and then we're going to go to search up windows security settings now, I already had it there because I was looking for it, but you can just type it in where it gave you a portion of the type in and it'll send you here. But then you're going to go to virus and protection threat. It's going to pop up a window here. And what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down and click on manage settings. Inside here, 
you're going to scroll down until you can see exclusions and add or remove an exclusion. What an exclusion is going to do is basically tell Windows Security to ignore. Um, it's going to tell you to it's going to tell it to ignore whatever's in there, so it doesn't delete files that you actually need. This can include game files as well, so it's always good practice. And you can even do this now, even if it doesn't pertain to this mod particularly, because it will ensure that your game files, which aren't going to have harmful things inside of it, um, you know, because you're downloading them for reputable places, it's going to ensure that your mods are going to work correctly and all that. So this is just good practice to do. But I'm going to quickly show you just in case you end up having this problem. Uh, it doesn't happen to many people. So far, it's only happened to one other person. Um, so you're going to copy that that link in that we or that file path that we had before then you're going to click select folder and it's going to add it to the exemption so again that that file path is literally just you know browse local files you're going to come to here you're going to go back to the common from the pulling total war and again copy and paste this that's what you need um so there you go you're all set so once you're all set with that you're you're ready to go for all your mods ever in the future you'll ever need all right, so once you got that set up, you're going to have a file that file you, you were downloading while we were doing that, and that's going to be called ACW Installer. We're going to go ahead and run that. If it pops up with any questions or, you know, any security things, just go ahead and click yes to it. Again, I assure you I didn't put any viruses in there. If so, you know where to contact me. Um, we support a variety of languages. You can pick your language that suits you best. Um, and then once you do that, you just click accept here to the disclaimer. And you're going to do next on the install. And then what you're going to do, this is why that file path was important from this jump, um, is right before the dash in Napoleon Total War, you're going to drag, click, drag, and then right click, paste. And now you have, no matter where, this process I just showed you, no matter where you installed Napoleon Total War, if you, if you didn't know the start, this will ensure that there's no way any of you watching this tutorial right now can mess up uh, the installation path. Once you do that, you're going to click next. And once you click next, you're going to click yes to overwrite. You will want to create a desktop shortcut, so we're going to go ahead and install. And then we'll cut to uh, when this is done installing. Alright guys, and we finished installing, so we're going to go ahead and click next. And then for this case, I do want to go ahead and run the, uh, uh, the shortcut. And then this is the shortcut you'll have on your desktop. Um, so you're just going to go ahead and click finish, and it will run it. So this this uh, window should pop up and here is everything you'll ever need uh, mod related and this mod does also support going back to vanilla so it's completely compatible with other mods as well. Uh, you can if you are having trouble or you want to go back to the mod page maybe they're rated who knows. Uh, you can click here and it'll send you there. Uh, this also includes like uh, known bugs, roadmap development, things like that. Uh, this is updatable every f uh, like five seconds as you're connected to the internet. So, and I can update this at any time, so you guys will be constantly in the loop. Every time you open your launcher, this will be fresh to the most recent uh, web development that I have posted. And uh, you can stay up to date with any new updates that come out or anything like that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and press launch. And it should launch again. So it's launching on my other screen right now, but um, I'll slide it over once, uh, once it allows. There we go. <laughs> So, boom, we're up and running. This is just where I was at the beginning. And uh, you should be set to go. Uh, just real quick, I'll go ahead and open a battle for you just to double check that uh, I ain't messing around. I'm going to go ahead and right click on this, click on that. Bring a general into here. And we're going to click play. Make a nice little loading screen. And bada boom bada bing. We're in. We're playing the game. Everything works. And this is the map of Seven Pines. And what general do we have down here? Looks like we got Chambliss. Absolute chat. Anyways, we are all set to go. I'm going to quickly go back and cover some of the things that are offered in the launcher real quick. Just in case you guys need extra resources. So if you want to revert back to vanilla, you'll simply click revert and you'll start playing vanilla. This is also the same way it's compatible with other mods. 
Uh, if you want to go play another mod, you simply need to press revert. If you played this mod last, essentially, and you want to go play another mod, it will simply click revert, and it will, and it will move all the files back and ensure vanilla compatibility so that if you have another mod, for example, you'll move the files into the data folder if you know how to work that mod, or you'll press, press launch on their launcher. Like, say, for example, NTV3 has a launch and revert button as well. If you played NTV3 last, you'll press revert on their launcher. It will load vanilla. You'll then come to our launcher, press launch, and you'll load into ACW. If you want to go back to NTV3, you'll press revert on our launcher, and then press launch on their launcher, and so forth. Um, if you click the user guide here, if you're having a little bit of trouble understanding uh, maybe some of the intricacies of the mod, this is a full in-depth tutorial that is, again, updated about every five minutes. So it's always up to date with the uh, latest fixes and tweaks to any battle systems we uh, mess with. You guys can stay up to date. And again, if you guys want to join the Discord, 100% uh, possible. Um, we go over here. Uh, we have a thriving Discord with some people playing right now. And, um, you know, a lot of people join every day. You can't miss games this way. Uh, if you ever see a game up, it's because we're playing one in here. So if you want to play multiplayer games on here, which is I highly recommend, it is super easy and 100% possible. You just need to come here. Uh, and that will be all for the day, guys. Make sure to go download the mod. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you in the next one.